Hello and uh, welcome. Starting a new game in Oblivion is a bit of a pain. Uh, let's call this fella Joe, that'll do. Yes, I'll be an Imperial. Okay, so you start in a dungeon. You've got no equipment to speak of. Mm, oh, you've got some skills, but uh, you're not going to use them. And, uh, yeah, you're stuck in the dungeon. You've got to go over here to be abused. He goes on for a little while, tells you about your background. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> you, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. And now we're stuck in place. We can't do anything else. You. I've seen you. And then after a while, you, uh, a long while, you have a conversation with the Emperor, who you pretend not to know who he is. Assassins. Um, and you get through this as fast as you can. And then you follow the uh, guards through the catacombs. They'll shout at you eventually if you get in the way. And so it goes. You know this. You know this. If you've played this any times before, this is how it starts. It takes about 40 minutes to get through it. Well, there is a better way. Okay, so this is a mod called Alternative Start Arrived by Ship. Um, and as before, the first thing you do is create a very basic character, just a race and a name, really. Okay, but now we find ourselves in a boat. If we try, uh, in a room rather, if we try and uh, exit the room, it tells us we've got to check our immigration forms and then get some rest. Okay, so let's have a look at the immigration forms. Uh, we can edit our race, birth sign, specialisations and our social status. So if we go to race, that's literally just the picture we had before. Uh, we can change um, what race we are. Uh, yeah, it's be a wood elf, it'd be female, just for fun. And get out of that. And yeah, we're done. Yes, I want to be a wood elf. Okay, then my birth sign. This is just for demonstration purposes. So, I don't know, let's be the mage. And then specializations. And this is where you get to either choose a class or create a custom class. Uh, so let's say we want some magic and intelligence and willpower, good for mages. And then we want seven skills. Let's see. Alteration, alchemy. We need a weapon. Um, marksman. Uh, I like marksman. And sneak. Okay, that'll do. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's be a wanderer. So create that class and it's down there selected for us. So done. Yes, I want to be a wanderer. Social status is the last thing. So what's your background? What's your social status? Um, I'm going to be a an academic uh expert in battle magic and i can be poor comfortably off or wealthy so i will be wealthy and we're going to appear at the imperial city we haven't got any diseases and that's it okay let's try the door again and it won't let us out so check the immigration forms and then get some rest and that's the thing we haven't done we have a little bunk here in our cabin so let's sleep and see what happens now unfortunately what this mod doesn't do it doesn't fix all of the pop-ups from the dlcs so you're going to be annoyed by those come what may but the first thing you do when you get off the ship you want to look for this bag uh, wherever you land, it'll be there somewhere. It's called Traveller's Sack. And if you open it, you've got a load of things. 
that you got as a result of the questions you asked, uh, answered. Um, so we've got yeah, a staff, a dagger, um, some potions, some alternative clothes, some food, a uh, few books, some soul gems and some gold. All right, let's take the lot. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. And if we check our quests, which we do over here, our active quest, unless we chose one of the DLC quests, is, as before, as with the original um, start, is deliver the amulet. So uh, we've got to go to Geoffrey, Geoffrey with the amulet. But unfortunately, we haven't got it yet. Um, what we need to do is go to the Imperial Sewers, um, and we enter them where we exited, and I'll uh, show you that now. Oops, not on there, I won't. We've even got a waypoint to say that's where we're supposed to go, so we will jump over there. I'm not going to walk there. We could do, but um, it's a lot quicker for the purpose of the video just to uh, just quick travel. And if we turn around, there it is. Let's sneak because there might be monsters. I'm also going to ready my magic. I do have some magic. I have flare, which will do. Oh, what's that? That's a rat, isn't it? Well, it was. Okay. So the rat we just killed is there. That's not the one we're interested in. That hasn't got anything. The one we're interested in is this one that was dead already. And we see it has the Amulet of Kings. So we'll take that and exit. And that is the, um, the whole of the introduction. So instead of being a 30 to 40 or even longer tutorial, which if you've been through it a couple of times, you really don't want to do it again, um, you get to get to the uh, start of the main quest within just a few minutes. It's a cracking little mod, um, very useful. If you're using a mod organizer like Mod Organizer 2 or OMOD or Wirebash, um, it should be easy to install and uninstall if you decide you want to go through the whole tutorial again. I will put a link to the mod in the video description. Well, I hope you found that uh, interesting or useful or even fun and enjoyable. If you have, please hit that like button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.